What is Psy Chi Honor Society Foundation, a trusted authority in the Honor Society space, will walk you exactly through what Psy Chi is. So what are the requirements to be a part of Psy Chi? Undergraduates must be enrolled in a major or a minor in a psychology program, have completed at least three semesters of college coursework, completed at least nine semester credit hours specifically in the field of psychology, have earned a cumulative GPA that places them in the top 35% of their class, and have a minimum of a 3.0 for all of their psychology courses. For graduate students, the requirements are fairly similar, except that all graduate students must maintain at least a 3.0 in all of their graduate school courses to be a member. But what is the history of Psychi? Psychi was founded in 1929, meaning that it's coming up on its 100th birthday. It is the International Honor Society for Psychology. Psychi is one of the largest honor societies in the United States, having more than 1,150 chapters. Psychi has inducted more than 750,000 members since its inception. These memberships range from the United States to Canada, to a number of other countries. But what are the key benefits of being a member of Psychi? Well, Psychi membership is definitely an honor that can be noted on employment applications, resumes, new members are also presented with a certificate of membership. Statistically speaking, more students continue on with their education when they're in an honor society of this nature versus students who are not. Students are also able to apply for assistance when wanting to travel to conventions or society-related functions. These meetings outside of the classroom with their peers in the field, as well as mentors and teachers within the field, are extremely valuable to a student's lifetime experience in this field. So based on the information that we just discussed, here is our review. Our first observation is that Psy Chi is one of the largest honor societies in the United States with more than 1,150 chapters. Our second observation is this society regularly hosts conventions, giving their members opportunities to rub elbows with peers, mentors, and other important people in this field who may be able to mentor the students as they currently are or may be able to get them a job after graduation. Our third observation is that this is a niche society for psychology students, which I always say has pros and cons in terms of your alumni network, maybe a more personal alumni network, maybe a more familiar alumni network, but maybe less people than a generalized honor society. It's not that one is better than the other, it's just different. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us and please stay tuned for more honor society reviews.